Welcome to Worthington Home. I'm Chris. The sun isn't up yet, but I'm already looking forward to having a little mini thrifting adventure once the day gets started. So I hope you'll join me. This brass chandelier has some nice potential and it's not a bad price either. We had those all over the place when I was in elementary school. That could be a great piano light. These two beautiful cups unfortunately had no saucers to go with them. Lots of interesting things as usual. I see these cornflower blue cups everywhere. Those are nice plates. $4.99 for the stack, made in Japan. My aunt had that plate. Ooh, I love this. It's so pretty. I love the colors and the bird. $2.99. Rhythm. These are some pretty plates and platters. Those are cute. JC Penny. This is a beautiful pattern. Really nice and clearly a vintage piece. Bavaria, Germany. $39.99 just for the teapot though. That's high. This is a pretty little platter plate or bowl. I don't know what you would call it, but it has very pretty details in it. It's an interesting winter scene. Thomas Kincaid. Oh, I like that little mug. Isn't that cute? This jewelry box is really dead inside. Poor thing. It's seen better days. This is an interesting little hors d'oeuvre tray, and it's very heavy. It might be hard to ship, I think. These birds are cute, but $5 a piece. That doesn't seem quite right. And a pile of pigs, because why not? And we have some pretty teacups. It's so hard to see the price through all of this plastic wrap. Here's another apple pie plate to taunt me. It wouldn't be Goodwill without an apple pie plate. Cookies for Santa's so cute. No markings on the back. This piece is interesting, has some interesting colors and interesting shine. There's lots of pretty glasses here. These blue ones are nice. $1.99 for just one glass. I don't know, is it just me or does it seem a little high? Same here. I don't know. I don't know about the pricing here. Lots of mugs. Oh, that's a pretty little leaf tray. The divided center. Oh, that's really cute. Little Niagara Falls souvenir cup from Japan. teapot is missing its lid or else it would be pretty I think like this glass plate it's very dirty but has some potential and this gravy boat I think it's a gravy boat is definitely antique only a dollar 99 Johnson Brothers what is this it's so heavy it's a mystery I like the blue glasses. Ooh, spode. I wish that were real, I'd be rich. This is a really cute teapot. I love the colors on this. Oh, but it's badly cracked on the bottom. Too bad. This is one strange macrame project can't quite make out what it's supposed to be. Pretty mug. This 
little angel would be nice if it wasn't damaged. And this is an odd little piece, but also damaged. I like this bowl, but not the red dye thing around the edges of it. This pewter cup was really nice and made in England, but damaged. It's the theme of this trip, I think. Here's some pretty silver plated goblets. This pig is so cute. <laughs> lots and lots of nutcrackers and all of them are Christmas tree shop specials. Nothing good in the group. I love this little salt or pepper shaker, but it was missing its friend. That would be so cute for a kid's room. This was also really nice, but pretty big chip right here on the lip. And on closer inspection, this has too much damage, I think maybe from utensil markings. I think this is a bookend, but I'm not sure. Take a look at some of the clothes. That is a lot of flowers on one sweater. This is a nice color. Old Navy, can't go wrong. That would be quite something for Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, a couple of interesting things. Nothing that I felt compelled to take home. A Gap sweater was nice. I enjoy looking through. This book is really fun. I think this is coming home with me. I love the gardening books. They remind me that spring is coming. Ooh, I love Scrabble. It's a really cool old set, but the, the box is so damaged. Still fun. I'm so excited that barn sale is open. They have very limited hours here. I'm excited to see what they have. I like the signed picture. This equestrian mail carrier is so unique. Look at the details. And there's the first family. 42 is more than I wanna pay, but it's a beautiful piece. They always have nice teacups here. Shelly, I have some of those pieces. I love this little tea set. It's so different. 22, not bad. Bird thing was so expensive, 265. Love the teapot. Pretty McCoy pieces. That bust looks like she could hit you over the head with a rolling pin. This is beautiful. I love the colors in the World's Fair, 1939. Don't feel like paying 45. They have a lot of pretty jewelry in the case. And if it's been there for more than a month, it's usually half off unless it's marked NR. So I always try to look carefully and make sure I take it all in. This is a very pretty set. I like this one too. This book is great, but it would be very hard to store. I like this lamp. Don't love the signed picture. This candlestick is quite large. It's in brass and definitely more than I wanna pay. The person with the equestrian mail carrier must have left her saddle behind. Here it is. Isn't that a pretty set? The price is not bad for that piece and the little accompanying pieces. These blankets are in the $40 or so range, much cheaper at Corner Collective if you're looking for some. I like 
this collection of composers. It's only $5. They have a lot of pretty glassware. I like those candlesticks. A little bit of green depression glass. I like the pink set. This little lamp is cute. Can you use a new shade? I like the rooster. <laughs> Maybe not in my house. Have lots of silver, cute copper kettle there in the back. And some nice coffee pots. A copper bowl is nice. Don't want to pay 45. Lots of kitchenware. There's some cute salt and pepper shakers up on the second shelf. And I like that cookie jar. Here's another cute one. This set is lovely, 32. I've been going back and forth on it, but I don't really think there's a market for that stuff, even though it is beautiful. This set is beautiful and a great price for so many pieces. Very classic. This cruel work is lovely, but the backing is really discolored, unfortunately. As you can see from the table full of items behind me, I came across a lot of interesting things this week and I'm so excited to share them with you. The first thing I wanna show you is this very heavy glass piece. And I'll tell you, when I first saw this, I had absolutely no idea what it was for, but I looked it up and I found out, I wrote it down, it is, a Party Light Crystal Castle five-tier candle holder. It's quite a mouthful, but you can see there are one, two, three, four, five places to put your candles. I think this may be for votive candles. Uh, I have to check it out, but I thought it was really interesting. It's super heavy and substantial, and because it's clear glass, it would look really pretty anywhere. So this piece was $4.00. And 99 cents. Then I bought this really cute Kate Spade picture frame in silver. It has this cute little bow on it, which I love. So I thought that was a neat piece. I forgot to tell you the picture frame was $4.99. Oh, sorry, my crush. I just hit the dog. Um, then I picked up this little candle stand. This is from Restoration Hardware, so I don't think it's that old. It's silver plate and it needs some serious polishing, but definitely has potential. And it was $2.99. I bought this stoneware bowl with hand-painted seagulls on it. Great little mid-century modern piece. And this was, oops. I've somehow lost the price tag on this. It wasn't very much. I think it was like $2.99, but I really liked that. And I bought this glass, um, I think this is a bookend. I'm not 100% sure, I'm still doing some research. It has this nice textured end. I was hoping I could find a second one. I looked all over and I only found the one, but it's nice and heavy and in great condition, and I thought it was worth taking home with me. I loved the color on this little vintage food chopper. I thought it was really, really cute, and I think could make a nice little kitchen piece for someone. And I picked up this great textured pottery mug with the birds. I like the green and blue colors. This was $1.99, and it is signed on the bottom. So I think it's some kind of a studio pottery piece. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of faint. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the little chopper was $1.99. This guy was also $1.99. I picked up this little ashtray. It's so cute. It says, 
I love you. It has this great graphic. It's only $1.99. It has a little bit of gold details. I thought it was really cute and kind of funny. I picked up this pretty, I don't know if it's like a gravy boat maybe? It has some really pretty patterns on it. I don't know if those are supposed to be shamrocks. I'm not sure, little green pieces. And it's Johnson Brothers, England. And this little uh, porcelain piece was $1.99. I found this unmarked Christmas plate, but I thought it had some great color and interest. This would be such a cute plate to like put out cookies for Santa, or maybe just serve some cookies to your guests uh, on. This was only $1.99, and I plan to put this away and bring it out closer to the holiday season next year. I found this lovely pink glass dish divided with the ruffle details, this great sort of starburst pattern on the back. I love the color of this piece. It was $5.99, a little more than I wanted to spend, but I don't know, I thought it was a really cool piece. Again, thinking about Christmas, which is a long way away, and that's a good thing. I'm excited for spring and summer. I'm in no hurry for winter to come back around, but I bought this little folk art picture that I thought would be so nice for somebody to have in the winter. It's signed Katie Berry and it's in really good shape. And I think that would make, like I said, a really nice winter decor item. I bought four silver goblets, $1.99 a piece in desperate need of a shine. They're marked, um, International Silver Company made in the USA. And I think with a good polish, they should really shine and be beautiful. So I'll be sure to show you after I do that. Let's see. Oh, I bought this little depression glass vase in green. I'm getting ready to do some decorating with some green themed items for St. Patrick's Day. It's my little attempt to try to bring in some color and interest in these kind of blah wintry months in Connecticut. So this is gonna be used to decorate my hutch and I'll be sharing that video with you very soon. I thought this little platter in the flower pattern was super pretty. It was $1.99 and it's marked the Edwin Knowles China Company made in the USA. I think it has a date. No, it has numbers 37 dash, I think six and a little sailboat icon on it. And similarly, I bought this little platter. This one is Johnson Brothers England. But I also thought even though they don't go together and they're not even by the same maker, and look kind of pretty stacked together. So I love mixed and mat match china. I don't think you need to have all of the same set. My primary china that I use is brown and white transfer wear and it's all different kinds of pieces. They all have similar colors, totally different patterns, different shapes and sizes. I think it makes things interesting and I love a unique tablescape. So I think these could be great pieces for somebody. I bought this very dirty plate in yellow. It is a vintage Federal Glass Company pressed glass dinner plate from the 1930s. It is really, really pretty. It has a great deal of detail and I'm sure the camera is not giving you the full story here. But I think once I clean that up, it will look really beautiful. And then I bought four of these beautiful Spode Christmas wine glasses. They're in perfect condition. They're so pretty. They were $1.99 each and they're marked Spode on the bottom. And again, my plan is to put these away and bring them out closer to the holiday season. I found all of those things at Goodwill in Hamden. And after I finished shopping there, I was driving on my way home and I noticed that the barn sale in Hamden was open and they have fairly limited hours and I'm not always in that neck of the woods. So I figured I'd stop by. 
So I was really glad that I did. It was very crowded and their prices were definitely a little bit higher than they were the last time. Um, and I think a big part of why that is, is because the last time things had been there for quite a while, so they were marked down. The kinds of items I was seeing at this last trip, um, they hadn't been there very long at all, so they just weren't eligible for markdown yet. And there were some other things in the store that I liked, but they were marked NR, which means no reduction. So, you know, I don't even bother haggling on those. They're consigned pieces, and if the owner doesn't want to mark them down, they don't have to. But anyway, I bought these cute little wooden bowls, square shaped. $3 a piece and there's three of them. Like $3 for the grouping and there's three of them. And I also bought these cute little shelves. Actually, I think they go, yeah, they go like this. These cute little wooden shelves. These were, how much? $12 each. I thought those could be a great addition, really, again, to any home decor. I think they're super versatile. I think wood especially just goes anywhere and really warms up a space in a really nice way. I bought this beautiful etched brass cuff bracelet. It needs some shining up and I think I can make that really sparkle. Um, this was $10, but this piece had been there long enough to be eligible for a markdown, so I got it for $5. And I think once it's cleaned up, it's gonna be a really beautiful piece. I found this really interesting glass container with a silver plate lid, not in perfect condition. There's been some damage to the silver. I don't think this will polish out. I think that's flat out damage. And there's some like, um, engraved designs that I can't quite make out, but I will be able to once I clean it up. But it has a pipe right on the cover, which I thought was absolutely adorable. And then the container is glass and you would have put your tobacco um, right inside it and then closed up the lid. So I've done quite a bit of research um, and I found similar pieces, nothing exactly like this. So it'll be interesting to find out more. I suspect this is Victorian-ish, um, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. I bought this really interesting framed grouping of composers. And I'm embarrassed to tell you I don't know all of their names. Actually, I really only recognize Beethoven. <laughs> um, but it's titled Composers. It was only $5. And I'm gonna actually give this as a gift to my brother who's a musician. He plays the piano and the organ and the harpsichord. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch this channel. So I think it's safe for me to tell you that I think this will make a wonderful, unique piece in his home. He also has piano students who come to his home, so I think they might get a kick out of it as well. I forgot to tell you that as part of my little Goodwill haul, I bought this big mug or cup, whatever you would call it. Um, it says Westminster School and it was $1.99. And to be honest, I thought it might just be good to put my pens and pencils in. I need something like that on my desk. And if the cats broke this, I wouldn't be broken hearted. So I think I'm gonna put this to my own personal use, unless during my research, I find that this is like a million dollar piece, in which case I'll sell it. Okay, I'm gonna show you my very favorite find of the day. I bought this huge, you see next to my head, I bought this huge brass vintage, candle holder made in India. It is such a fabulous piece. It's so sculptural and interesting. I love the shape of it. I love this open center. I think this will look so wonderful in somebody's home. Uh, I can't wait to shine this up and really make it nice and take some photographs and play around with it a little bit and uh, see how it looks when it's ready to show. So, Stay tuned. I found another Goodwill piece I forgot to tell you about. 
what is my problem? Um, I found this great piece of fabric. I don't know if it was like a coverlet for a bed. It's quite large and it is in this great sort of quilted looking pattern. It's really pretty heavy. It has this sort of smell of like talcum powder, which you often associate with these kinds of things, which is kind of gross, but I'll wash it and that will help. And I think I'm gonna use it as a tablecloth. It could actually, it's so heavy, you could even use it for a reupholstery project. But in my case, I don't dare because the fabric is so light. And I think that the cats and dogs and my son and probably me um, will destroy it. So it was $6.99. But I think it's, again, I just want to show you one more time. I think it's a really pretty piece. So I'll give that a wash and probably, ooh, and probably an iron and I'll see how it goes. So those were my finds. I'm gonna clean them up and then kind of put them together so you can imagine them as part of my home decor. Well, here I have a few things styled up. You can see that I did some polishing of this beautiful brass candlestick holder. I am so in love with this. I really got it to shine up nicely. And here are those little wooden bowls that I bought in the seagull bowl. And in the back I just have this thrifted shell that I had um, shown previously. So I think that looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, that candlestick is so good. So I shined up the copper bracelet and look how well it turned out. This was just with lemon and salt, uh, no abrasive chemicals. And look how pretty that is. It's gonna be really hard to let this go. Look how nice these pieces all washed up. Here's the little food shopper. It is such a great color and it matches pretty well with the soup tureen. And that really cleaned up beautifully. And then I have the pressed glass piece behind it. Obviously this little stand isn't ideal for it because you can see through, but look how pretty those colors all complement each other. They're so cheerful. Here I just put together a little display of decorative glassware and some platters. They're so pretty and I, I, as I said before, I love them together even though they don't really go together. They cleaned up so nicely. They have such a nice shine on them now. Yeah, they're really, really nice. I hope somebody will appreciate them as much as I do. This really is a great little bookend and I love how it will just like kind of disappear. It's subtle, but it has this nice textured end. So it's like, it doesn't pull attention, but it still has a nice little shine. Oh, don't look at all the dust up there. I'm gonna use this mug, which I have now cleaned up. Let's see how shiny it is. And I am going to put my pens in there so I don't keep hunting for pens every five minutes. I'm going to show you how pretty these little wooden shelves look. I'm not keeping them, but they are so cute and they would look really nice just kind of popped in anywhere. Let's look over here. That look pretty here. I mean, really, they would be pretty anywhere. And as you may recall, there are two of them, which is even better. They don't look bad there at all. No, I'm selling them. My goodness, I can't keep it all. I'm in the process of packing up my Valentine's Day things and I decided this little ashtray has to be included. I think it's really perfect for Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna keep it. Here is the tablecloth I picked up. It is really, really pretty. I am so happy with it. It looks really expensive, I think, but it was $6.99.
I so wanted to show you how that five tier candle holder works. And I also wanted to show you the restoration hardware candle holder, but they seem to require a size candle. I think maybe votives that I just don't have in the house. So I'm going to have to pick up some. And when I do, I'll show them to you. That will be in another video. I wanted to let you know that I'm going to have my first online sale on February 28th at four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's a Wednesday, so I'm calling it Worthington Wednesday. And I had hoped to, to feature the sale on my own website, but I've had a really hard time getting my website to function the way I want it to in my head. I don't know if any of you have experience using WordPress, but it turns out I have absolutely no skills in using it. So I decided to just stick with eBay. I've sold things on eBay before with no problems and no drama. So that's what I'm going to do here. Some of my items are going to be available as part of a three day sale, three day auction, and the rest will be a seven day auction. I really wanted to do everything as a three day auction just so it wouldn't kind of drag on and on, but it turns out that eBay charges extra for that. So those, those little fees start to add up after a while. So everything is going to be um, eventually a seven day auction unless I decide to switch over to a buy it now format. Um, and perhaps at some point I'll develop more confidence in my website and I'll move everything over there. That would be my dream. But for now, it will be on eBay and I'm going to link my eBay store in the description box as well as in the text box so you know exactly where you can find me at that time. So be sure to check it out. I'm going to give you a little preview of some of the items that will be on sale and you've seen most of them before in my vlog. So there shouldn't be too many surprises, but maybe a couple. So I'm so excited to show you the first group of items that are gonna be part of my Worthington Wednesday online sale on eBay. And it's gonna start on February 28th, four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. A lot of these items will be part of a three day auction, but moving forward it will be seven days. This little cake tin isn't something that I featured on my channel, but it is so cute. And anyway, all of these things will be available. I may add a piece or two, but essentially this is the first group and I'm really excited. I hope it goes well. And as I've said many times, I'm still learning. So if you have any feedback for me or any requests for things that I look for on my little thrifting journeys, please don't hesitate to let me know. I love hearing from you. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And I'll see you next time.